I am here with AJ and Cynthia from Inner Space. Tell me, we are at Toronto Comic Con. What do people need to have when they come to a Comic Con? What's one like must-have item in the bag? An open mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, apparently they need to have a taco pillow, which is what AJ Fry seemed to buy. He bought a fuzzy taco pillow. Yeah. I think really? Yes. Well, you know, I like tacos, I like pillows, so why not combine the two? I didn't realize I needed it until right. I saw it, and then I went, oh, I need this. <laughs> I think you need to have um, a, a spirit of adventure. I think you need to have good footwear. Mm. And I think you need to have a lot of water mm -hmm. and a lot of stamina. So you got to pace yourself if you're going to be a survivor of a, of, a, of a con weekend. And money helps. Yeah, yeah. right, mm -hmm. right. So you can buy those taco pillows. Yeah. Uh, do you need a costume? Is a costume a prerequisite? No. I don't think so. No. I'm this is my television show host <laughs> costume. Okay, <laughs> yes. This is my pregnant lady costume. Um, I, I think you need to have uh, like an appreciation for people who are in costume. And that's the thing. Even if you're not... Sometimes people, it's their first time out, and they're not sure if they're ready to take that plunge. But a lot of times, we've spoken to people who, they say, you know, last year I came here and I was a little bit shy, but I saw all the people in costume, and then next year they decide to go out and, and put on on. Mm -hmm. The one thing you do have to realize if you do wear a costume, though, you're going to get stopped everywhere you go right. for photos. And then your experience is very different because you can't do all the things you want to do because people are constantly hounding you for photos. Mm -hmm. So there's pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, AJ, I still remember you from YTV. Do you feel like now you've finally sort of adopted the face of space? Because now I've, I'm finally starting to see you as a space guy rather than a YTV <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, it's funny. I still get people coming up to me saying they remember me from YTV and constantly asking about the hair. But, uh, you know, so <laughs> many of those people are like, oh, I'm so happy that you made the transition to space. And I mean, I don't know. I'm certainly not the sole face of space because we of course have Teddy and Cynthia as well mm -hmm. so I'm just happy to be a part of a family and have these uh, other people who are as as enthusiastic about genre and the stuff that we do to share the show with Cynthia you know I know you're coming from like a sex TV background mm -hmm. if I wanted to pick up a girl at Comic-Con can you give me like a tip you know, is there? Do I need a costume? Can I do it without a costume? Why are you asking her how to pick up a girl? <laughs> well, <at Comic> <laughs> well, she's the expert, though. I'm the yeah. dating yeah. expert. I think um, you need to, like in any situation, you need to be confident without being cocky. Okay. Um, you need to find a, a point of entry. So, meaning maybe you're wandering around the floor, and maybe she's standing near um, a comic that you really like or really want to or have. pretend to like or pretend to okay. like. Yes. So you go up and you try to find a point of entry. You know, asking her about this. I mean, the more you know about the items that are surrounding her, the better because you won't come off as being fake. Um, but you can still, you know, even if just everything in the spirit of curiosity is good, too, if you're curious about her costume. Basically, flattery will get you places, okay. but you need to be well-timed and maybe not too much. Um, and uh, and then you just, you know, if you if you flatter someone and tell them they look great and that you'd like to, to get together with them later, you know, pass along email addresses, do pass along, like, cell phone numbers. Leave the power in her hands mm -hmm. to contact you. I, I really like your necklace, Cynthia. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I see where this is going. Good, good, good. Right. You're on the right. On yes, that. yes. There's one thing that's true uh, no matter what the fans are into, all female genre fans, they're all very, very smart. Mm -hmm. So you got to be, you know, very mm -hmm. authentic and honest with people. Um, AJ, is there one thing you're looking forward to the most at Comic-Con, like to see the Star Trek cast? Oh, I mean, an, an absolute highlight. It's great to see the dynamic that they have together. Uh, they play off one another uh, so well. And it's cool now that we've, we've met them a couple of times in the past. They actually know us, and, and they say hi to us. They know our names. So having that kind of camaraderie with the cast of TNG is just it's surreal. <laughs> And the, awesome. greatest, the greatest compliment um, that, that we received, and I don't even know if you heard this, but Jonathan Frakes um, said to me, um, you know, he realized that we were the same people who had hosted in Calgary when they got together, and he said, oh my gosh, it's you guys. You did such an incredible job at hosting. It was our favorite time right. ever. And so that was, you know, you never know how you did afterwards. We didn't, like, sit down with them and be like, hey, did yeah. you like what we did? Right. But so it went off well, which is which was great. And when people tune into Inner Space, what can they expect? How about you? Any women you admire? Uh, you know when you're young. Sarah Connor. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Are we aging ourselves? Like right now? I'm like you're like a, I'm like the right yeah. That's just not. Well, that's not Beast, I'm getting quite hungry for some Grim. Yes. Glad it is returning. Me too. I'm not Grim about the return of Grim. I just wonder. I mean, how many more Grim fairy tales are there out there? So here's a question. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you saw a man trying to murder another person? You can't walk up to a squirrel and you know, reach out and try to pet a squirrel, the squirrel's just gonna run away. Uh, they can expect to uh, go behind the scenes of all their favorite genre content, be it movies, be it comic books, be it television series. You get up-to-date news on uh, the ongoings in the genre world and uh, lots of arguments and insight and, uh, yeah. General, general goofiness, I would say. Some silliness. Some silliness. 
and Teddy interrupting us. Got yes. it. Yes, Teddy it. always needs to have the last word, really. And we and like no, no, I we you can have you can no you can have the last. <laughs> See, we're, we're just too giving with right, one another. Right, right, exactly. And and my final question is here at weekend trips, we love hearing about what people do on the weekend. So when you're not at cons, when you're not doing interspace, what do you guys like to do on the weekend? Oh well, thank you, Cynthia. Uh, I like to uh, to game. I'm a big gamer, so I'm I'm usually in front of my computer for a few hours, or then I'm out uh, and about uh, going to various things in Toronto, like Snakes and Lattes, a board game cafe. Love to go there. I am am a horror movie fanatic so anytime I can spend uh, watching even if it's a bad horror movie I will do that my latest one on Friday night was sinister and you know now that I'm pregnant I actually get a little bit more creeped out so I don't know how that's gonna shape me going forward but uh, anyway I also spend a lot of time going for brunches and then if I have extra free time I'm obsessed with uh, with certain types of video games right now it's been fable for the last little while so I will will carve out some time for that because there's not a lot of time left for that <laughs> let's be honest that's awesome thank you so much <laughs> thank nice you. to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice yes. To meet you. yes.